Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. Just a quick video to keep you updated as to the latest news from the Windows 11 Insider program. And it's been a busy week for insiders this week as all three channels have received new builds. And as I did post on yesterday on the 23rd of August, Microsoft rolled out build 2261.457 to the release preview channel. And I'll leave a link in the description to that video. And then late yesterday in my region on the 24th of August, Microsoft rolled out two new builds uh, to the beta channel. And then also the weekly build for the dev channel was also made available on the 24th. Now starting with the beta channel with uh, the latest builds 2261.586 and 2262.586 and those were updated with the latest update KB5016701. Now I'm not going to spend too much time here with the beta channel as this week there are no new features that have rolled out to any of the uh, of the new builds. It's just a bug fix update and um, I'm not going to spend too much time here, but just to go through some of these quickly, the File Explorer has received the majority of the fixes, and then the Taskbar has also received quite a few fixes. But as mentioned, no new features have rolled out um, in both builds, and then also both those builds have received um, fixes as well, over and above the fixes that have rolled out for build 2262.586. So that's it for the beta channel for this week. No new features, mainly just a bug fix update. And then moving on to the dev channel, which this week has received a new feature where last week there were no new features for the dev channel insiders. And the latest build, as we can see, is build 25188. Now, the new feature is they've updated the touch keyboard settings. And just to have a quick um, look at that, uh, and this uh, screenshot provided will just give us a better idea and perspective. Microsoft say um, they are trying out a new touch keyboard setting that replaces the show the touch keyboard when there's no keyboard attached checkbox and that's in the settings menu as we can see and this provides a new drop down menu with three options to control whether tapping and edit control should launch the touch keyboard and as we can see those th three options now are never when no keyboard attached and always so that's the new updated touch keyboard settings now which is the new feature for the dev channel insiders this week and microsoft does make mention that this feature is on a controlled rollout so not all insiders in the dev, dev channel will get access to this new feature currently and then um, changes and improvements uh, the windows terminal is now the default terminal in windows 11 which means all command line applications will open in windows terminal automatically now which means that means both command prompt and powershell now will open automatically in windows terminal i must be quite honest i'm not too excited about this change if it does roll out to the stable version in the future as personally i like to use command prompt and powershell but nonetheless windows terminal now the default uh, terminal in windows 11 uh, dev channel build 25188 and then there's also a change in improvement they've updated the settings for uh, the wi-fi where they updated the wi-fi and vpn properties pages in settings to now include a link to advanced properties for that network and then over and above um, uh, that new feature and those two new changes and improvements we get all the bug fixes that have rolled out and once again the file explorer has received most of the bug fixes in build 25188 as well. And then if we just go down to the bottom here, just to take note, if you are in the dev channel, uh, there's a new known issue. Enabling .NET Framework 3.5 from the Windows Features dialog will not work in this build. So just take note of that. And then also, if we just head down to the bottom here, Microsoft Store update. They are beginning to test Microsoft Store ads in search results. And I think if that does roll out, to a stable channel and stable version of Windows Microsoft Store ads. I think that's going to um, spark a lot of debate and um, controversy as to ads in the Microsoft Store. But nonetheless, that's it for uh, build 25188 with those uh, two changes and improvements and a new feature rolling out. And um, just wanted to keep you up to speed as all three channels uh, in the Windows 11 Insider program have received new builds this week. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.